We are called to leadership. God has ordained us from the day of our birth. And the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. Let's hope and pray that we are not only called, but chosen. And we will remain chosen. And some of the things we have to remember a uh, one thing that God brought to my mind about abiding in him, about being in his love, where Romans talks about how we are not going to be separated from his love. We have to remember that we can choose to be separated. We can choose not to be vessels of honor. We can choose not to go through with grace. We can choose not to be crushed, not to go through the crushing. We can choose not to put, not to move to higher ground. We can choose to refuse the different trials and vicissitudes of life that God allows. But remember, if God allows it, he's got a purpose. Everything he allows in our lives, there is a purpose to it. And we have to, as Sister Edna said, abase so that we can abound. And if we abase, we will abound. Now, here's the thing I want to I want to share what God showed me when I was preparing for the message. It reminded me of a movie I saw. <clears throat> and in this movie, this part is dealing with being separated from his love, which we are not. In this movie, a woman who was a wife had a husband. Now, I tell stories, so go along with me on this. The man was a born-again Christian raising his daughter. The wife was out on the streets, strung out on drugs. He did not allow her to live in his house. He did not allow her to spend the night in his house. Why? Because of past failures where she had stolen, she had ripped them off, she had done things to put him and their child in danger. So he had to protect his child. He had to protect the household. That's what they had. And in the meantime, even though in his heart he loved her dearly, he could not allow his daughter to be too close to her. He could not allow close contact. So when she was really, really hungry and things got desperate, he might allow her to come in, watch her as she ate the food he prepared for her. But as soon as she ate, she had to hit the door. Now, this is what that told me. And it was a perfect example of Romans chapter 8. Perfect example. God loves us. He, he is love. He can't help himself. But what we have to understand is there are times when he will love us tenderly or he will give us tough love. And we are the ones who decide which one we get. Now, later on in the, in the movie, the woman recommitted her life. And then she was welcomed back into the home, welcomed back into close communion with the daughter and the husband. What I want to share with you is we are called to a higher level, as Sister Randolph talked about. But we can choose to take the low road. We can choose to cuss somebody out. We can choose to tell somebody off and belittle them, disrespect them in public. We can choose to take on that controlling attitude, my way or the highway. We can choose that if we want. Life can bring all kind of challenges. How are we going to respond to them? It's not the that's challenge right. that's the challenge. Yes, it's your response that is Amen. the challenge. Amen. 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 So we have to decide, are we going to be vessels of honor like, like Brother Youngblood was talking about? Or are we going to be vessels of wood, hay, stubble? What are we going to be? Mm -hmm. We have to understand that God requires things of us. There's a, when, where there's a high calling, yeah, there's going to be some high challenges. New levels, new devils. That's the way uh. that ball game goes. So we have to remember, this is a battle. All right, I'm going to go through this real quick. Sister Randolph talked about how we're called to a higher level. And I dealt with that. But are you dealing with the high level God called you to? What are you doing? with your personal life, when nobody's looking, 
when nobody can hear the words coming out of your mouth, what is God hearing coming out of your heart? Your attitude towards brother so-and-so and and sister Appleseed. What is God hearing coming from you? Next thing, brother Youngblood talked about being separate, being holy, being workers of honor, vessels of honor, being cleansed. Are you allowing the cleansing? Or are you just putting a little water under your underarms, throwing on some deodorant, some deodorant and going out saying, praise the Lord, y'all, while your spirit is foul? What are you doing with that? All right, here's the other challenge that we have to think about. Brother Miller talked about, oh, God gave me a whole image when he talked about the old man. Imagine the old clothes. Imagine yourself putting on old clothes. Now, you wore those clothes every day for a month. Picture that. Woo! <laughs> yeah, ugly, isn't it? And now somebody says, come on, I want to take you somewhere real fancy, real swanky. Get dressed up. And you throw on some beautiful attire over the old clothes. You don't take a shower. You don't wash. You put on the old clothes like you always have, but you put the new on top of it. Really? Think about that's what we do, some of us. That's what we do at times in our lives when we fall short of the glory of God and we allow the old man to abide under the costly array of the church attire. Hallelujah. Mm. And then Sister Mm. Edna talks about hypocrisy. She talks, <clears throat> she talks about how we are not to quarrel, how we are not to live in discord. We are to abase ourselves so that God can exalt us, so God can exalt us. We ought to be loving and kind. We're in a battle, but we're not supposed to be battling each other. That's right. Hello. That's right. Amen. Hello. Amen. We're supposed Amen. to love each Amen. other. Amen. We're supposed to allow each other to be free, to be right and wrong. Because God is the one that's going to get the increase in our lives. Not you. God. So don't be so critical of your brother. Don't be so impatient and intolerant. Because what you don't realize is why you're sniffing up on them, talking about what they're doing wrong and how they need to get their act together. And I don't like the way they handle this. And I don't like the way they run that. Guess what? God's sniffing up on you. Isaiah oh, chapter my. 1, wow. and I'll leave that for you to read. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, the next thing we have to remember, <clears throat> what I love about Brother Diaz, he said, huh, crushing. Now, as soon as he said that word, my mind went right to the olive. The only way you're going to get oil, which is our anointing, is through the crushing. Yes. That's the only way you're going to get the anointing. You think you're going to go through life, tittle through the tulips. It's not going to happen that way. No. When when it comes to your calling, if you're called to love, you're going to experience hate. Mm -hmm. If you're called to mercy, you're going to experience all kind of times you have to forgive. If you're called to give, you're going to have to rise above your own selfishness. You're going to be challenged in all the areas that God has called you to. I'm winding up because I know my time is short. But we have to remember that everything is not the devil. Some things, it's God trying to clean our behinds up. And some cleaning (laughs) takes friction. Some cleaning takes abrasion. No, are you going to receive it in love? Are you going to receive it in humility? Are you going to receive it in honesty and tell yourself the truth about you? Face yourself. Present yourself a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, God. which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. And let me add, don't be conformed to your wits. In Jesus' name. God, help us to grow. Help us to love. Help us to forgive. Help us to give. Help us to share. Help us to accept one another. Help us to be at peace. Help us to cooperate in the name of Jesus. Amen. And word-wise, 
U.S. Institute of Eschatology will not only fly, it will not only leave the ground, it will soar. It will soar into the galactic levels of God's <laughs> calling. And we can get ourselves out of the way. Forget rebuking the know. devil. We got to get <laughs> us out of the way. Because your opinion and my opinion isn't worth a hill of beans. It's all about God. Amen. Amen. And Amen. we're all to be together and united, marching to the same tune. Not everybody going off on their own tangents like a spastic with the hand wants to do one thing and the leg wants to do the other and all the muscles are out of control and out of sync. You get nowhere fast. So let's get somewhere, y'all. Together? Amen. Together. 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 Together, hallelujah. Together. Praise God. Praise God. Together. Praise God. Praise God.